Hi, so it's Alia again, and I am going to tell you how to start the carnivore diet, and it's very simple. So the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to decide that you are going to take control of your health. That's the first step. You're going to decide you want to lose weight or handle some issue that's bothering you, irritable bowel syndrome, et cetera, autoimmune disease, whatever you're trying to handle, get on this diet immediately. And you're going to decide to do that too. I would set a goal of how many days you're going to do it for like 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days. Right now I am dedicated to doing it for the next 90 days. And I want to see what happens. And at the end of that, I will reevaluate. And that's my recommendation for you to choose the amount of days you want to do and then reevaluate at the end. Uh, the next is get all of the crap junk out of your house, refined carbohydrates, candy, sugar, Nestle's crunch, Lego, my ego, uh, Lay's potato chips, Cheetos, just go put it in the dumpster. Nobody needs to eat it. It's actually not food. It's called food like products. And those are the things that are slowly killing you. So get that out of your house. All right. Uh, the next I say, get all the, uh, the fruit and veggies need to go also, but I put asterisks here because my kids and my husband still eat those. They're not doing carnivore. Um, they're perfectly healthy. They don't have any issues when they eat vegetables or fruit. So do what's best for you and your family. But if you have to keep the fruit and vegetables, you need to be more disciplined because you're not going to be eating that on the carnivore diet. But once you start eating this way, you're not going to actually feel like you need to eat those either. So next, what you're going to eat is animal-based foods, beef, butter, bacon, eggs, fish, etc. cetera. Uh, you can eat any and all animal food products you like. Some people can also handle dairy, like cheese and heavy cream. I really can't do that. I even attempted it yesterday. I had a little heavy cream and it just didn't sit well. And then within minutes, uh, my nose was getting stuffy. So if you are lactose intolerant or can't deal with dairy, uh, I would skip that except probably you'll be okay with butter. I'm okay with butter. Uh, six. Okay. So you're going to cook in animal fats like butter, ghee, lard. That's like bacon grease, tallow, which is like cow fat, uh, and any other animal fats you can find. I just put that there. I don't know what other animal fats you're really going to cook in, but if you cook anything in bacon grease, it becomes the most delicious meal ever. There you go. All right. One more thing I want to add here. Don't drink milk under any circumstance are you going to drink milk it's first of all disgusting second of all it's not an adult human food we're the, we're the only humans adult humans that drink milk it's or like adult mammals that drink milk you don't find any other mammal in the wild drinking milk after they're a baby so don't drink milk it'll just make you fat all right salt your food to taste use as much salt as you like and there you go don't worry about salt eat salt, sea salt specifically. I didn't note that here, but use sea salt. It's better than the iodized table salt that we're used to. So find that it's super easy to find. Uh, eat until you're comfortably stuffed. So on this diet, there are zero calorie restrictions and that's amazing. You just can eat as much as you want in your time that you're eating. Um, and when you do that, you're going to be less hungry. You're not going to want to eat between meals. You're probably going to even eat less meals. Uh, some days I'm eating one meal. Some days I'm eating two meals. If I feel hungry, I'll eat three meals, but I'm not eating. I'm not snacking between the meals. And honestly, I don't think I've had three meals in the last two weeks. Actually, now that I think about it, I've had one to two since I started this. And it was very easy because you're eating super delicious, high fat meats. Okay what you're going to drink. You're going to drink water. You can drink coffee without sugar. You can do tea, naturally sparkling water, but you're going to have like no fake sweeteners. And maybe that sounds terrible at first, but after a couple of days, I was totally fine. I drink black tea. I drink green tea. I drink coffee every day, water, sparkling water. And I have no, no, um, craving for anything sweet. And that's, that's huge for me. So just get the fake sweeteners out of there. All of them, NutraSweet, Stevia, uh, Splenda, whatever it is, just, just don't do it and you'll be fine. In one to two days, you won't even miss it. All right. So, uh, what's recommended is that you actually take electrolytes like potassium, magnesium, calcium, uh, because when you go zero carbohydrate, your body's going to dump a lot of water. And with that water, your electrolytes are going to go because that's how the body works. So you want to replenish those electrolytes. And that's just going to also help you with the process. Like when you go, when you're doing carnivore diets, sometimes maybe you'll get leg cramps. You're going to need magnesium. Potassium is going to help also. 
So just make sure to take some electrolytes. Uh, if it's not just straight up potassium, magnesium, and calcium, uh, make sure that it doesn't have a bunch of uh, other added things in it, like dextrose or sweeteners or stuff like that. So make sure you get a good quality supplement or supplements. All right. So I want to say, get the highest quality food that you can afford. Don't stress or fret if you can't buy the most expensive organic stuff. It, that doesn't matter. Just by getting the refined carbohydrates out of your diet and the vegetables out of your diet, just eat meats that you can afford and do the highest you can. And don't yeah, like I said, don't get stressed. It's going to help you no matter what. All right. My little disclaimer here. So if you're like a super hardcore carnivore and you're reading this, you're going to be like meat, salt, water, that's it. And honestly, that's basically really, that is it. But I think what I've laid out here, it's really helped me in the last couple of weeks. And I think it's a way easier entry point to be able to start this way. And who knows, maybe in a couple of months, I will only eat meat, salt, and water. I don't know. I don't know right now. Uh, the above is very helpful for me. And I think it would help you tremendously. If you look on YouTube and find other YouTubers doing the carnivore diet, uh, people with terrible autoimmune issues are like resolving them just from doing this. So highly recommended. And, uh, I hope you like this. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up.